What's up guys, my name's Adapt. Welcome to another video on the channel. So for the next week, I'd say the next couple of days, it's gonna be mainly menu content. I'm not even sure about that. Our uploads are going to be slowing down a bit this week. If there's some any interesting menu content, anything I can make a video on or anything I'm gonna do, I might post a couple videos on that. I might bring you guys something like a club tour, just things in the menus. But gameplay wise, I am playing the game at the moment. But guys, I am going away for a bit. So I am recording loads of videos in bulk. I'm in the process of editing and making them videos at the moment. So I need to get them scheduled, uploaded for a certain time. So with regards to gameplay content, I am playing FIFA at the moment guys, but all of that content that I'm getting from the gameplay is going towards them videos. So there's not a lot of gameplay content going on at the moment, but I'm bringing you guys some menu content now. Everybody knows about the market right now. I'm not going to go ahead and talk about the market crash because I think there's other YouTubers who do a perfect job of that like run the foot market he does a very good job of talking about the market so that's not what i'm really here to do but i'm just bringing you guys my experience on ultimate team this is a cool video i enjoy making these types of videos and some of you guys enjoy watching them so i put a poll up yesterday and i asked you guys is anyone doing hazard or alibar so i've done neither of them yet now the reason why that is is because i don't want to be wasting coins and i know you guys can say it's august do what you want have fun but this team i've got right now okay it's not a god tier squad it isn't a top tier where you'd look at my team and be like that's a great great end game team it's average to be honest if we're going to compare it with the rest of the fifa community and the market crash right now players are just going down and down in price and it's silly like a team of the season pepe was going for i think a million coins and now he's going for 60k it's ridiculous how cheap some of these cards are now this is my team right now now you guys might not be that impressed you might be looking at this team i've got a namor still in there you guys are wondering what a gold namor's doing in there at this stage in the game but he works for me and he's a great player for me. I could go ahead and do Hazard. I could go ahead and do Alaba and switch the team around and stuff. But these players are untradeable. I want them to come to use. And this team has been playing very well for me. I think if I was a top 100 player, then I would be able to get top 100 with this team. No problems. This team would be no excuse. I wouldn't be able to complain about this team. All I'd really need is a Hullet right there. And I'd say this team is top 100 ready. Yes, I haven't got team of the season Ronaldo. I haven't got team of the season Messi. I haven't got team of the year Neymar, team of the year Mbappe or any players like that. But this team can do a good enough job in foot champions right now. Maybe not if you get to a pro tournament or you're playing other pros and then you're playing against their teams. This team won't be able to match up. But if you're playing regular foot champions and you're just playing weekend league and playing other people who are at an average level of FIFA and who are slightly better at fifa than the average person i shouldn't have any problems with this team if i'm good enough to beat them obviously with all the gameplay mechanics everybody knows how broken this game is but i believe this team is good enough to if i was good enough finish very highly in foot champion so this is my team now i'm not gonna bore you guys with this team forever you guys have seen it so many times I'll show you the stats just in case some people are curious. 158 games on Allison and one goal. I wonder where that goal was scored from. Maybe a penalty or something. Then we have the Costa here. Then we have Blanc. Actually, I think I know where that goal from Allison came from. There was a weekly objective weeks ago, I believe this was. And you had to score with goalkeepers or something. I think that is where that goal with Allison came from then we have prime icon moments Blanc isn't the best center back in this game but he gets the job done 
And I think Adam Militao, I think he is up there with one of the best, if not the best, centre-backs on this game. This guy has saved me in so many situations. His defending is great. If I'm on my A game and I'm playing the best I can, this card gives me something extra. He gives me an extra boost and he really saves me in situations where if my opponent was to get past one more player then they'd be through on goal or even score and Eden Miller tells being there to get the vital tackle to cut that passing lane really late on in games as well he's just very consistent and that's why I'm not gonna get someone like Maldini or something I'm not sure but team of the season Van Dyke, team of the year Van Dyke. I think any higher version of Van Dijk could be the best centre back on this game. I have played against Van Dijk so many times in weekend league and whenever you come up against him his headers from corners is disgusting for one. His defending attributes are just ridiculous on any higher version of his card if you were to get his team of the season or team of the year card. He's just impossible to get past almost and with catch up in this game how your centre backs can catch up with other people's strikers if they have really quick strikers. Van Dijk has very good pace so he's going to catch up with most people and get that vital to tackle when you need it the most. Then in the left back role I have Tellez here. Tellez I bought quite a long time ago 323k that explains the price I bought him for and he's been solid for me. I was thinking of getting Timo Di Marcelo and then doing Footy's Hazard, but I've got a couple issues with Footy's Hazard which people don't bring up. Now, one of them is he wouldn't get chemistry in my team, and if I wanted to get him on chemistry, on full chem especially, I'd have to go and get a Timo Di Marcelo because I don't think I'm selling Team of the Season Eden Militao. And Team Rio Marcelo is at a ridiculous price right now in this market crash. Now, I think he's around 700 and something K. I can go ahead and check for you guys. Let me go ahead and check the market quickly. So, if we go to Team of the Year Marcelo, I'm going to go and look at this quickly for you guys. But I believe he's somewhere in the 700K region 800K, 785K. There's only a limited supply of him on the market, only three of him on the market. And people know that other people are trying to do that for his Hazard and they would need that link from Marcelo into Hazard if you want links with Brazilian centre-backs. And there are a lot of good ones in this game. Thiago Silva, Marquinhos, of course, Eda Militao. And I think that's one of the reasons why Marcelo is so high and there's a limited supply of him on the market. Now in the centre mid role, I have Henri. I don't regret paying this price for him. He's been a very great card for me. He plays to my playing style very well. He can do everything on the ball. He's so strong. He's quite tall and I wouldn't say he's stocky. He's got a good physique in game and he can hold players off. And he feels like he's got that extra boost in game. And he feels much quicker than all the other players. I feel like he's one step ahead of most players and he just does things in a special kind of way that only icons can really do. Now in the left mid role, I could get someone like Ronaldinho or something, but Neymar has played 399 games for me and I have 193 goals and 130 assists with him. Now that's a decent return in my opinion. Maybe it isn't the best, but at this stage in the game, I'm using a 92 Neymar and he has been playing decently for me. Then I have Prime Icon Moments Petit, who's played very well for me, 119 games, he's been solid. And then we've got Keen. Now some games I want to just sell Keen because he'd be on the ball and he's just lacking the shooting stats I would want from an all-rounded midfielder now he is a more defensive minded midfielder but at this stage in the game when we're talking about end game teams and what I'd be happy with I want a midfielder who can do everything someone like Kulit who can pass who can defend well who can shoot very well because sometimes I find myself in a good shooting position with Keen say for example on the edge of my opponent's box from a corner and I have the ball with Keen at the edge of the box and I'm doing drag backs 
and I have that opportunity to shoot but I remember Keane's on the ball and he hasn't got great shooting so I have to pass it make that extra pass and sometimes that extra pass doesn't allow me to get a good shot off or even makes me lose the ball now I haven't shown the right side of the pitch much love in my other videos because the face cam is always blocking it but we have Nabri on the right side. This is probably the first time you're actually seeing Nabri's card in my team. But here he is for everyone who hasn't seen him yet. That's pretty much all of you guys because my face cam's always covering that top part of the screen. So we have Nabri here who is about 60k I think now. His price has crashed dramatically alongside all of the other team of the seasons to be honest with you guys i think ronaldo let's look at team of the season ronaldo i know i'm not a channel which looks at the market all the time i don't analyze the market but let's look at this cristiano ronaldo team of the season card and see how low he is now let's look at ronaldo here 4.7 million 4.1 4 million coins if you guys have 4 million coins you can go and get yourself a team of the season Ronaldo. Now, if I was to save up coins, then I would probably be able to get team of the season Ronaldo. But am I going to do that? I don't know. Anything can happen. But I've got Pagliarella up top. And I'm very happy because most of my team is untradeable. I feel sorry for the people who have a lot of tradable players in their club. And they've lost so many coins. That, that must hurt a lot. But fortunately for me... I have got a majority on tradable starting 11 and a majority on tradable club. So I haven't lost a lot of coins because of this market crash. I bought Henri a long time ago. I bought Neymar a long time ago. I bought Teles a long time ago. So they already decreased in price ages ago, even before this huge market crash. So it isn't too much of an issue for me. And EA have just kicked me out of ultimate team. Thank you very much for that EA. That just describes this game really the gameplay now i'm back guys i just got kicked out of ultimate team and ea asked me to do some verification thing i don't know what that was all about but i'm back now and it had to happen mid video thank you very much for that so i can't remember what i was just doing i think I was talking about my team or something i remember now so i was just talking about how i've got loads of untradeable cards in my team and i'm grateful for that because there are a lot of people who have lost a lot of coins due to this market crash now i told you guys that i bought tellers a long time ago i bought neymar a long time ago i've got good use out of these cards and to be honest for how long i've had them and the use i've got out of them i'm not too bothered about losing coins on them on re as well he is a player who's probably going to stay in my club till the end of the game and he is a great player for me he can literally do everything and he fits my playing style very well and he has gone down to 882k what is happening to this market what am i seeing right now guys 882k for Henri. He's gone below 1 million coins. I saw him at 900k, just under 1 million coins around about, but now he's at 800 and something k. I don't know what I'm going to do, if I'm going to end up selling Henri or not, but I'm happy that I bought him when I bought him because he has been a key player for me and he has scored a lot of goals for me and, and has very good goals and assist contributions in comparison to the games he's played in my squad. So that's the team right now, and this is my bench. So we have Cudi Bali, team of the season, Marcus Alonso, Renato Augusto. This guy, Lozano, has been a great super sub for me in the weekend league. I bought him on, and he has done so much for me. It's just a quick burst of pace to bring on someone with fresh legs and someone who's going to cause trouble for my opponent. Now, the reason I haven't done Hazard yet is because I think Hazard and Lozano are very similar players, just with their dribbling stats, with their kind of build. I don't know how tall Hazard is, I can go ahead and check right now, but I don't think Hazard fits my playing style that much. I like to hold players off a bit, I like someone with a bit of physical presence and someone who's going to be able to hold other players off. I don't get that vibe with Hazard, he's got 4 star, 4 star, 5 8, it's an okay height, but his physique in my opinion he's got a bit of stock on him 
but I don't believe he's good enough to hold players off. I've had Hazard in the past. I know the type of build he has in game, and I'm just not a fan of him this year. Now, it's bad for me to say that because I haven't tried him much this year, but I've played against him this week in Foot Champions, and he hasn't been great for my opposition. I've been able to tackle him easily in the 50-50 push and pulls that I get into with him. Hazard just gets pushed off of the ball, and I don't think he's strong enough for my play still. So up top I have Quagliarella, he's been very solid for me, he's cheap now, but first on untradeable there. And Sarabia, got him from an SPC, Fernando Torres, first on untradeable here. Let's just go through everyone, Marcus Alonso did him in an SPC, haven't used him yet. Renato Agosto, first on untradeable. I just like seeing first on untradeable because I know I haven't lost any coins here. So I'm very happy for that David V. I did, I did the Deja Vu SBC and I picked him to put into my team, well on my reserves because I thought he was the best option. Also quite high rating at 92 so he's a good player to put into an SBC if I don't want to use him and he hasn't seen the light of day in my team. So this is my team right now. Now I've got some other stuff in the club, now I most likely I'm going to save that for a club tour. I'll probably do a club tour eventually before the end of the game. I might even do one this week, we'll see how it goes. It is currently nearly 4 o'clock in the morning on Monday so it's quite late. I just got done with my foot champions games, I'd say probably an hour ago, a bit more than an hour ago. Now. I played foot champions but I didn't play all the games. Now I approached it very well this week I believe for the most part. Now I was on 10 wins before I started playing today and I was about I want to say 10 and 3. So I started off today 10 and 3 or 9 and 3. I'm not even sure. Maybe I had even less wins to be honest with you guys. Maybe I just got to silver 3 and what is silver 3? Let me check silver 3. Silver 3 is 6 wins. I think I started today on Silver 3 and I played quite a few games today. Now I got to 14 wins and said I'm not going to play any more games because I was getting quite tired. So I finished 14 and 5. I'm a bit disappointed. I was 13 and 3 at one point and then I came up against the guy who scored three goals now i wasn't on my a game to be honest for that game and the game after that and i lost concentration a bit i played quite a few games today and i like to take some time in between games so when i get into the next game i'm fully focused so i came up against the guy and he went three nil up and he was just passing around the back for the whole game so he won that game he was playing very toxic and just passing around the back which if you're doing that in august i don't really know what to say he can have the win then i came up against another guy after with red Salo, i do believe now i went three one up and ended up losing 4-3. Disappointed with that one, couldn't hold on to the lead, but yet again, I wasn't focusing enough. And then we got into the game I won for my 14th win, and that game I nearly choked as well. That guy came back twice from a two goal gap both times. So that was a bit disappointing, but I ended up getting the result and I got the win and we finished 14 and 5 but to be honest with you guys the reason I entered foot champs this week was because obviously I'm going to be away and I need to get these videos up and these videos are going to be mainly gameplay content so I thought I could grind some games out this weekend and I can get some nice foot champs rewards get some player picks as well whilst getting gameplay content for when I'm away. So that was the reasoning behind playing champs this week. Now I can't be too hard on myself because I was using new custom tactics every couple of games because I am bringing you guys some videos where I do pros and YouTubers custom tactics and player instructions. I was working on that. I don't want to say series but I was working on them videos for the channel did i do any formation reviews i don't think so so i was really just looking at 
pros and YouTubers, custom tactics and player instructions. And I was changing around between formations. I could be on a very good winning streak with one formation and then I'd have to change to make the next video. So I couldn't go too hard on myself. I wasn't 100% playing to win because if I was just playing to win, I wouldn't have done that. But we got what I needed done and I'm also getting some nice rewards I might upload to the channel. And that's another video for you guys. So that is how I did this week in Foot Champions. With the games I played, I didn't play all 30. I played 19 games, finished 14 and five, I should have finished to be honest with you guys 14 and 3 or 14 and 4 but I started this weekend 3 and 2 guys so I wasn't doing very well then I went on a very good winning streak and I played very well this weekend for quite a lot of my games and then had two losses in a row but I bounced back in the last game and managed to get the 14th win it's always when I'm so close to that next rank I slip up a bit but that's how I did this week in foot champions now we do have some squad battle rewards here I'm gonna open them for you guys I might as well now I believe I played squad battles for weekly objectives I do believe now this is the new featured squad this week for squad battles I don't know who them two people are but that team is ridiculous. It's probably only worth about 100k because of how low all the players are now. I'm just joking, guys. It's not 100k. It's probably more, but the price this team is, it shouldn't be at. Because the fact that Team of the Season Ronaldo is 4 million coins is absolutely ridiculous. This guy is 28k, I do believe. Cancelo, I think it's about 100 and something k. It's probably even cheaper than that now but this team is a very good team but that is the feature squad for this week now let's take a look at the weekly objectives now i am progressing decently with the weekly objectives i did tech serie a couple of days ago i don't know if i pronounced that correctly but that was quite simple and as i was doing tech serie i was trying to do this third foot swap doors playoffs so, so i tried to do two things at once but obviously tech serie is two squad battles matches and for this foot swap doors player you need to play three squad battles matches now i need to do these foot swap doors players because i want to get Fabinho but I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to achieve that because I'm going to be away for a bit and I might miss out on a foot swap deal player or something I don't know what's going to happen I hope that I get lucky and I'm able to play just before foot swap deals card expires or the day before where I can just grind out whatever foot swap deal players are available but it's not likely I will end up being able to get Fabinho but I'm gonna try my hardest and try and get every single foot swap deals player card I can then we have Juan Jesus score at least two goals with a Serie A player in four separate rivals matches that's okay to be honest it does take a bit of effort and time but it's not in rivals wins so I guess that's okay now I'm gonna open the squad battles rewards for you guys and that is going to be it so these aren't really good packs to be honest with you guys i think ea might have turned pack weight down a bit i opened two rare mega packs earlier and i didn't end up getting a walkout in any of them so i think ea might have turned down the pack weight i'm not too sure 255k packs but you guys might be like it's silly to say that after opening two 55k packs but I thought I would get a walkout or at least a decent ball drop from a 55k pack. I might have got one ball drop but I was just expecting a walkout to be honest from 55k's. People say they're one of the best packs on the game and to not get a walkout with so many cards in packs and what the pack weight was a day or two ago yet again i don't know if the pack weights changed 100 percent but i didn't get any walkouts in them two packs i opened and i haven't really packed anything too great today anyway so guys that's how i got on this week in foot champions i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more menu content hit that like button subscribe to the channel gameplay content will be coming soon 
but not for this upcoming week I don't think so because I am in the process of getting a lot of gameplay editing it and getting them scheduled for when I go away so I have something for you guys whilst I'm not able to be at my console to, to record content for you guys so if you enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe to the channel down below I'll see you guys in the next video see you guys later peace